This is Tent Muir Forest and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use a smartphone app to collect data that we can then share and analyse later. So this is the app we're using, it's called EpiCollect and if we start that up you see we've got a number of screens here. First we have to select the correct project. So here I've got one called Tentsmuir that we've been using to collect data at Tentsmuir. So we've selected that, now I'm going to put in a new entry. First of all though we have to find something interesting to look at. Ok, so I found a small mushroom here, let's take a look at that, and we're going to get a, a nice picture of that. The thing to remember is always to put a scale into your picture so that you know how big it is when we come to look at it later. We're going to tap to get our GPS position from the phone, and that will tell us that it's set and the accuracy. 8 metres isn't great but it's not too bad, so we'll go with that. Next, we're going to tap to add a photograph. There it is. Let's get really nice and close. And we've got the scale in the picture. That's good. So we can see how big it is. A nice clear photograph there, so we can click done. You can click retake if you don't like it and get another go. It can take a few seconds for it to process. Then we can enter the form data. Confirm and then store the entry. We can then add a new entry or we can list our entries. And we can see here that we've got two entries we've collected that haven't yet been synchronised with the database. So one of the cool things is we can use the display map option to show where we are. And if we then select local entries from the menu, we can see all the entries that we've collected on this phone. And we can zoom in and see exactly how those are displayed. Or even turn the phone sideways, zoom, and there's the transect line from the study. From the EpiCollect main menu, if we go to list entries, then we get a list of all the entries we've put in. And we can see the N shows that some of them have not been synchronised. We can add these to the database by pressing the tap to synchronise entries button. and it will then synchronise the data. There we are, we have successfully synchronised our data. Now you can see that all of the entries have a Y against.